Hai. Gimana lu? Hai. Mom's not quite ready to get up yet. morning. Well, it's Saturday morning. I just woke up and fed Sophie as you saw. And today I thought I would show you a typical day I'm meeting a, a friend, maybe a couple of friends for breakfast at my favorite coffee shop here in my neighborhood. So I'm going to take you along with that. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see how it goes. Every morning I vacuum because Sophie likes to kick up a little bit of litter. And so I just gave the house a quick vacuum and then a, a good wipe down while my coffee was being made.
there's this recipe that I used to make for the kids when I was still married. And it was in the Best of Bridge cookbooks. And it was called uh, Lazy Cabbage Roll Casserole or something like that. And I really want to make that. So I'm going to look it up and see if I can find the recipe. Obviously, veganize it. Shouldn't be that hard. And then make it for dinner tonight, especially if Keaton's coming over. So, best of bridge. Let's see. Cabbage rolls. Oh, look. There it is. <laughs> Don't you just love the internet? You can find anything on there. Okay. Uh, well, that doesn't look that hard. I'm going to look at a couple of recipes here and see which one looks the best. Cool. All right, I had to get going. I'm meeting some friends for breakfast, like I think I said earlier, and then I will stop by the store and buy some cabbage. And I think I need some long grain rice. I'll check my pantry. I don't park in front of the coffee shops anymore because the van is plus size. So it's just easier for me if I park over here. It's free parking. There's lots of room for her and I don't have to try and back up into a busy street. So let's go see if my breakfast date, Michelle, <laughs> is there. to do some chores and one of the things I had to do was stop by shoppers and the grocery store shoppers because they carry Pacifica brand skincare and makeup 
um, and that's one of my favorite vegan brands. I need some more this glow baby item tea serum. I love this stuff. And I recently started using this Poor Warrior because it is for um, lumps and oil fighter and I find that my T-zone is greasy as I've gotten older. So I'm going to get some of this because I'm using this in the morning. And then I need a moisturizer. This is fun that I like. And the reason I like it is because it is not greasy doesn't feel heavy on my face. I also really like these eyeshadow sticks. And Chloe is a vegan brand. I have one. I'm wearing this one today. I might get this one as well. All right, I need onions and I need cabbage and some ground. I think I'm going to go with this. There's lots of options. So, but I've really been enjoying this brand of sausages and I'm really quite curious to try this in this recipe. Look at the ingredients. Split peas, cauliflower, red pepper. I need cabbage and I gotta pick up some potatoes. is so good. I mix it with just regular oat milk because um, it's pretty sweet but oh my god it's delicious. These yogurts are also delicious. There's Sophie girl. Oh. That's about as much peopling <laughs> as I want to do for one day. I think, I think I'm done. So now I'm going to put my groceries away 
and then I'm going to make some bread I think because home baked bread is always a good idea and then I'm gonna relax with that little critter on the couch Kind of hungry but not super hungry so i'm gonna have some leftover uh tofu salad that i would make from sandwiches i'll link the video down below that i use um because i have make, made a video of it so i'm going to <laughs> just have some leftover of this on some crackers really quick because i'm actually not hungry uh not super hungry I'm not super hungry, but I should probably eat something. So <laughs> this is real life. I'm just going to do this standing up, have a few crackers with some of that on there, and then call that my quote unquote lunch. It's a good recipe. If you haven't tried it, I will link it down below. Mm. I'm making them wraps, pita wraps like I did in that recipe, or on bread. It's also really good with carrot sticks or crackers as just a quick snack. I won't subject you to watching me eat this. I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna bake bread. All right, guys, now I'm gonna make some bread. It's not very exciting. The recipe's super easy. And I have shared it on my website. I will link that down below. And uh, it's fast recipe. So it's flour, quick rise, quick rise yeast, some oil, a sweetener, and I'm using maple syrup, of course, and then some salt and water, warm water. That's basically the whole recipe. So into the bowl of my stand mixer. I'm gonna put the one and a half cups of warm water. Not hot, but you want it to be warm enough that it will help the yeast activate. Okay, one and a half cups. Your packet of yeast. You could use agave, um, but if you know me, you know how much I love my maple syrup. So we're going to use maple syrup, but it gives the yeast something to munch on. And then two tablespoons of the oil. And this is just canola oil. You want a light flavored oil. and a pinch of salt, probably about a teaspoon, just enough. I'm gonna give that a whisk, and then I'm gonna let it sit for the uh, yeast to bloom. And then we'll get to adding the flour into the mix. In the meantime, let's see what Sophie's doing. Sophie. What? What have you got to say? Hi. How are you? 
Where'd you go? There you are. Here's my kitty. Hey, Sophie girl. Can you hear her purring? <laughs> Sophie is a very lovely kitty cat. Aren't you? But she only really likes two people on the planet right now. Me and my youngest, Jamie. She used to love Keaton. They were the best of buds. And then Keaton left home. And she never really forgave him for it. And now she lets him pet her two, maybe three times. And then that's it. She'll hiss at him. I don't understand why. And it breaks his heart. But that's just the way it is. Right, Soph? Right. Oh, well. Now that the yeast is bloomed, um, we can start adding in the flour. Four cups of flour. Now, as with all baking, you might need more or less flour depending on your location, your uh, altitude, that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna do that. And fast forward, you pass this process. I'm going to let that knead for about eight minutes. Um, and every once in a while, I pull it off the kneading hook. That's the word. Um, and just to make sure that it needs all of it. Um, and then we'll come back. So that's the dough. I'm going to cover it and just let it sit for a half an hour. Um, and then I pull it out, knead it just a couple of times, put it back in the bowl. This time I'll line the bowl with parchment paper so that I can just lift the whole thing up and put it into the Dutch oven to bake. But right now, half hour to let it rise. While I'm waiting, I may as well download the footage that I've already shot for this vlog onto my computer and then uh, just import it into iMovie. All right, the bread has risen to quite a bit. So now, I'm just going to knead it just a little bit, and I've just washed my hands. Now you don't need to knead it a lot, but just enough to sort of form it into a nice little ball. Just a few times until it makes a nice little, nice little ball. Like that. And now, have it rise for the second time, but I'm going to do it inside this bowl in the parchment. And the reason is so that when it's risen a second time, I can just lift this whole thing up and put it into my Dutch oven. The reason I'm not letting it rise in the Dutch oven is because you want to get the Dutch oven hot in the oven before you put the bread in it to bake. Then you put the lid on it and it creates this uh, air, what's the word, convection sort of. Uh, situation. I'm not sure how to say it. Which makes the bread puff up. So that's what we're gonna do. Just setting it in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's how it looks. And then I'm gonna put it back to rise for a second time. For another half hour, 40 minutes-ish, just depending on you know what it looks like. 
in the meantime, I can clean up. Now I'll let that bake for 25 minutes and then I'm going to pull the, uh, then I'm going to take the lid off and then cook it for another 10, 15 minutes until it's really nice and brown on top. And the house is going to smell amazing. I'm actually editing the video that you're watching. I just thought I would pre-edit some of it. Um, so I'm doing that as I wait for my dinner to cook. As I edit, this one is usually right here. And she was, just until I turned the camera around. And then she decided, nope, I'm not gonna cooperate. Uh, some, for some reason, this little tail's a little tossy. And she's li very likely to bite me right now because she's in a bitey mood. Um, but yeah, this is what I do for at least a couple hours every weekend, usually on a Saturday. Sometimes if I'm running behind on a Sunday morning to get these videos up for you. But I don't mind. It's actually very relaxing. Well... <laughs> it is 20 after 8 in the evening. And this recipe here that I was filming for Wednesday's video has kicked my butt. Uh, normally, I film um, Sunday's video on Saturday. And sometimes I film uh, uh, the recipe video. <laughs> Usually it works out better than this. This one, I just can't get the rice to cook. I do not know what's going on. Um, I'm not sure if I will share the recipe on Wednesday or not because I just don't know what's going on here. So I'm going to try and salvage some of these ingredients. But it's late and I'm ready for bed. I am watching the second season of Bridgerton which I've been enjoying. And Sophie and I, hey, no, oh, of course she leaves. Sophie and I are gonna get ready for bed. That is basically what a Saturday or a Sunday in a tiny house looks like. Errands, today I didn't do laundry, but usually there's laundry involved. Ah, I'm tired <laughs> and I'm flushed from being in the kitchen, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Probably not the most exciting video I've ever shot, but I wanted to just sort of share a normal day in the tiny house. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Um, and <laughs> remember in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I love you guys and I'll see you next Sunday. Come in. Oh my God, you're a pain. I know what you want. You want your wet food. All right. I'll get that for you. <laughs>